For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on this Monday, June 20th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. Brattleboro's connection to the Juneteenth federal holiday is now part of the Civil War monument on the town common. The names of 25 soldiers of color were dedicated in the ceremony on Sunday. Some of the men listed were part of the 1865 official notice of the Emancipation Proclamation in Texas. Former Brattleboro Town Manager Peter Elwell says the monument is about education and that it adds to the official historical record from the original 1887 monument. Federal offices, banks, and the post office are closed today for the second observance of Juneteenth. Vermont State offices and Brattleboro Town offices are open. In fact, only a handful of area towns are observing the federal holiday. The first Juneteenth was in 2021, just days after a law establishing the holiday was signed by President Biden. The Vermont State Troopers involved with a non-lethal use of force incident in Townsend have been identified. Vermont State Police say Sergeant Ryan Wood and Trooper Zachary Trockey, both assigned to the Westminster Barracks, are on paid leave while the incident is being investigated. 61-year-old Marshall Dean remains hospitalized at the Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center with injuries suffered when he fell off the roof of a home after being struck by a beanbag projectile fired by one of the troopers. A Saturday fire in Bellows Falls is being investigated. The department, or rather the fire department, was dispatched to 9 Blake Street for a reported structure fire. Upon arrival, crews found smoke and fire showing from windows on the third floor. Crews encountered heavy fire and heat conditions upon entering the third floor apartment and contained the fire, keeping it from spreading to the remainder of the house. The cause of the fire is not considered suspicious. Investigators from the Vermont State Police will be on scene today to help determine the cause. A Springfield, Vermont man is facing assault charges in Wyndham County for an incident at a Rockingham motel. State police were called to the scene Wednesday afternoon and found 30-year-old David Polito had allegedly assaulted another person following a verbal altercation. Polito was released with a criminal citation to appear in Vermont Superior Court, Wyndham Criminal Division on Tuesday, July 26th. WTSA Sports, nice win for the Red Sox yesterday. Christian Vasquez hits a three-run homer and leading Boston paint past St. Louis 6-4. The Red Sox, I believe, host Detroit tonight. Josh Winkowski on the mound for Boston. First pitch against the Tigers is at 7-10. Uh, here's something you don't hear all the time. The Yankees lost. Toronto rallied from five runs down and beat New York on Sunday 10-9. The Yankees are in Tampa tonight. Garrett Cole on the mound for the Bombers. First pitch is at 7-10. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television, on this Monday, June 20th, have a safe and tremendous day, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.